Here's problem 1015. If m is equal to 0.5 kilograms, l is equal to 1.2 meters, and the mass of each connecting rod is negligible, what is the moment of inertia about an axis perpendicular to the paper through the center of mass? Treat the masses as particles. So we have uh, <clears throat> three masses here, an m, an m, and a 3m. And we have them connected by rods, which are a distance L apart. The rods themselves are massless. Let's set up a coordinate system such that the first M is at the origin. And hence, this first this M to the right is located at X equal to L, and this 3M to the right is located at X equal to 2L. Let's find the center of mass. So we have the X center of mass is going to be equal to the summation of every mass multiplied by its X position divided by the total mass of the system. So we're going to weight every mass by its position divided by the total mass of the system. We have an M located at X equals zero plus another M located at X equal L plus a 3M located at X equal 2L. All this over the total mass of the system which would be M plus M plus 3M. So this is equal to we have see M times L is 6ML so we have 7ML over 5M. M's cancel out, and so this X center of mass is located at 1.4L, and we could actually put in L and find that location, but let's just keep it as 1.4L. Okay, so our center of mass is located right here at 1.4L, and we want to find the moment of inertia of this mass system around that point. So now we're going to move our axis to that point. And if we do that, that means this 3M is going to be 0.6L away. This M just to its left is going to be 0.4L away. And this far M to the left is going to be 1.4L away. In other words, we want the pure distances that all these masses are away from this axis of rotation. So let's calculate the moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is a summation of every mass multiplied by its pure distance from the axis of rotation squared. So this is going to be equal to m times 1.4L squared plus the second m times 0.4L squared plus that third m, or third mass, which is 3m, times its distance away, which is 0.6l, and we're going to square that as well. So we've got m times 1.4 squared is 1.96l squared, and we have a m, 0.4 squared is 0.16l squared, and 0.6 squared is 0.36 times 3 will give us an m times 1.08 l squared. Add up all of our terms, we're going to have m times 1.96 plus 0.16 plus 1.08 times l squared. So 1.96 plus 0.16 plus 1.08 is 3.2. So this is 3.2 ml squared. We actually know what m is. We are given that value. It is 0.5 kilograms. And we actually know what l is. It's 1.2 meters. So this is what? 
2.30 kilogram meter squared. So that's our answer. 2.30 kilogram meters squared is the moment of inertia of this rigid body about an axis perpendicular to the paper through the center of mass. 2.30 kilogram meters squared.